Welcome to YouTube's favorite comic book channel, Cartoonist Kayfabe. My name is Ed Piscor. I'm Jim Rugg. Gonna look at a fun one today, but we gotta let you guys know that Cartoonist Kayfabe comic book Christmas in July is rapidly approaching. It's gonna be the last Saturday in July, and we are imploring all of you to join us in spreading comic awareness around the country. The way that we're choosing to do that, we're taking our comic book doubles, we're taking our comp copies as creators, we are stuffing the free little lending libraries in our neighborhoods full of comics to the gills, and we're encouraging everybody to do the same. This is the second time we're doing it. Last year, we had more than a thousand people participate. I estimate we must have gotten 100,000 comics out into the universe. Let's do it again exponentially. We've grown a lot. We've gotten way more viewers. Let's have 10,000 people put out a comic. One million comics spread across the country. That sounds like uh, a noble goal. The videos are brought to you in part by uh, the Patreon. And the King K favors on the Patreon are getting a uh, first glimpse of all of the videos that we make uh, before anybody else. That what that does is mitigates the kayfabe effect. And uh, sometimes that kayfabe effect gets pretty expensive on the aftermarket. Today, Jimmy, let's take a look at the free comic book day effort by Scotty Young from a couple years back. I hate image. Uh, this is one of the great free comic book day comics that contains original materials. You know, I like when people take free comic book day seriously. And it is a very smart move to do complete fresh comics for that market because it's probably more copies uh, of your comic that'll be in print compared to uh, your, your, the typical series. And this is a great way to sell people on your new property. Scotty was doing I, I, I Hate Fairyland and what a great way to introduce the people to uh, to that character. I did the uh, the Image Free Comic Book Day the year after this. Same. So this was one I was looking at almost as references like what could you do and I did all original material too because like you say that is what to do, and I think Scotty Young really uh, takes advantage of that here. Totally. This is a gentle roasting of uh, his compatriots, uh, new and old, with uh, who exist under the Image Comics banner. And off the bat, uh, this is a solid comic. Uh, we have a couple other people's hands in the soup right here. Uh, we got a colorist. Uh, is it Jean Francois or Jean Francois? You got me. Yeah. I'm glad you're reading these I names. know, right? Nate Picos on the lettering, I think he chose a great font that is very, very congruent yes. with the line art. It looks good. This is a good holistic looking comic down to the color, down to uh, the lettering. And you see plenty of great examples. One of the things that the colorist does is almost in like a animation style, gives you the black line on your on your focal point, which is typically your characters, and then lightens up the uh, color on background elements, including uh, the, the lettering balloons, man, which uh, boob as onomatopoeia. That's a fun one. That's a good one, yeah. Yeah, I, I assume that those letters have to be drawn by Scotty. Young. Looks like it. That's his hand for sure. Yeah. And he's got that like Watterson-like energetic brush line where it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to t touch, you know, line to line whenever you're connecting stuff. It's clearly a hand that's making this. There's a wobble to it, but it's it's very gestural. Yeah, and you'll see, you know, our first appearance, uh, you know, was was a saga reference. Right. Uh, we'll, we'll see a lot of the references to the books that are big at this time. But you know what he does, I think, well, is like his, I, I want to say weight, but I don't know if that even sums it up. There's like a physics involved in his figures sure. that I find really holds up. Like it's this cartoony style, but... You know, like the figures themselves feel right. They feel solid. Yeah, it's, it's great they balance. Feel heavy. Yeah. Um, that is so important to me with, with figure stuff, that that weight. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's, and, and all of the best cartoonists, have, you know, they, it's very important to them. It's funny as a snapshot of like 2017 and what's big at Image. Because here we go into black and white land, right? We're Walking gonna... dead. <laughs> exactly. This video is brought to you by the Cartoonist Kayfabe Patreon. Uh, the King Kayfabers on our Patreon uh, completely mitigate the Kayfabe effect by getting a chance to see all of our videos before anybody else. They also have access to the live stream recording sessions and add a lot of value to the videos by filling in the gaps in uh, the knowledge that Jimmy and I have on the subject matters that we were talking about. Before you lies the bibliography of Cartoonist Kayfabe with some uh, 
pretty dope new additions that are coming in the near future. Hip Hop Family Tree Omnibus is coming to you this holiday season. 500 plus pages of content. It's the 10 year anniversary of Hip Hop Family Tree. It is the 50th anniversary of hip hop. I put 140 pages of new material in this book to make it a completely new and substantial experience. Not the only holiday book that I'm presenting to you this year, 2022. X-Men Grand Design Trilogy is coming out uh, in November in time for the holidays, collecting all of my X-Men Grand Design works. Uh, some of this book, some of this stuff is out of print right now. So it's the one place where you could get it all in a handy dandy volume. And Red Room Crypto Killers is out there. Murder on the Dark Web for Fun and Profit is the name of the game. Two issues out there right now. I encourage you to get issue number three of Crypto crypto killers because uh that's going to be the first appearance of my next uh comic strip set of characters jimmy has street angel princess of poverty coming out sooner than later jimmy when's that coming out fall oh <laughs> we we have not uh closed it off at the printer yet so all right man but tbd it is uh going to be a great companion piece to street angel deadliest girl alive that currently has received a, a fresh printing you get both books you have all the jimmy street angel material that he has done to date uh but right now true crime funnies is the comic you're wanna, gonna want to get your hands on still has a couple of copies you go to jim rugg's website go to his patreon you'll be able to uh, see these comics ahead of time and purchase your own copy now that we're done with uh paying the bills let's get back to the video <laughs> Yeah, it's it's uh it's a pretty fun trip down memory lane in and, that regard. And of course, dude, he's he's got the advantage of doing the free comic book day comic, so he's going to get his character over. Yes, you know, and it's exactly the move. And not just like within the story, but look at how good she looks in, against the gray background. Oh, it's, you it's know, gorgeous. It's, it's the colors really smart. Yeah, the colors is employing great choices by doing almost like a, a cell shaded. Uh, kind of aesthetic, but we'll blend colors here and there when applicable. East of West, I know that's another title. Uh, we Then we get into, uh, here goes our Jason Aaron, J Jason Latour caricatures for their uh, Southern bath Bastards, kind of. Even, again, sort of tapping into the color palette of those books. Right. You know, those color, the, like, that color palette is right off the covers of, of those books. Yeah. Which I think is smart on the part of the books, too. Like, if you can look at an homage <laughs> and recognize where it's coming from from the color palette... I think you're doing something right. I took this Paper Girls panel as kind of a note because the comic I'm working on is is a you know, takes place in the '90s, and it's just a self-referential like '80s shit that's that's in there. It's just such like a light jab to uh, BKV Cliff. It's, it's yeah, it's good. This We're, is what you want in a tongue-in-cheek. Like you're going through and you're cutting some promos, good-naturedly, but this is a funny one. You can only uh, you roast those who you you love, man. Also, probably, I'm not sure of Scotty Young's age, but I think he's around our age, give or take a little bit. So it's probably fun just to drop a bunch of 80s <laughs> pop culture. Yeah. <laughs> Got Chew showing up, talking glue and uh, gluten, and <laughs> him getting to see his own death. But this is where we, uh, this is where we want to be, you know, the Founding Fathers, with glaring omissions. Man, the world has changed from that 1992 era, huh, Jimmy? It's it's really fun, especially going from, like, the 80s. Again, like, Scotty Young, good good job in, like, getting through all this stuff and making it all hang together and be entertaining, because now we're 90s sucked. You right. know, let, let's get into that image generation one. Right. And, you know, you got your pit, you got your Witchblade, got some uh, Rob Liefeld characters, Shadowhawk, Savage Dragon, Prophet... But of course, man, you don't get to see any wildcats, man. What a spread. You know, this is your centerfold of the book. You can see the staples in the middle if you look on your screen. This is what you want to do because books fall open to their centerfold. Put right. some money in there. Totally. And you even get that one uh, Kirkman is a uh, werewolf thing that never took. Love this. Rips off Super Patriot's like arm gun <laughs> shooting him with it. <laughs> And then you get some deep cuts. Like, to me, darkness is a deep cut. Interesting. <laughs> you know why, too, man? Because I fell way off uh, by then, man. I wasn't reading none of that shit. So she accumulates her weapons, man, to do the job that she needs to do. That's one of those panels that I think looks really cool in terms of, like, her walking. Yeah. Yeah. And and see, he, like, he knows... He could draw whatever, man. So, like, that is a pretty good-looking window. And he's also got that deal, dude, where it's, like, no right angles. You see... I like seeing the image 
characters put through this filter. Absolutely, man. We saw it with Hillary Barta mm-hmm. and Stupid. You can't help but think of that version of uh, Spawn when you look at this, because it's, it's a very similar treatment. The, the cape's 100% like the Hillary Barta <laughs> Stupid cape. Right. And probably not the only two guys that make that joke about how much of a cape there is there. Could not go any other way, right? No. But even like the Spawn mask and face is fun. And now you throw in a Dark Knight homage. What's not to like in this comic? Ed? Oh, totally. This exact image, like there would be skyscrapers <laughs> in McFarlane spawns. One of these an issue. Absolutely. That's so funny. I love all the image eyes, like for everything. The building shape, the doors. And just when you think you, you had enough, man, what what have we been missing so far? You got to cut some promos on the creators. We could do 10 minutes on this fucking first panel with Eric Larson's <laughs> drawing hand. That's so classic. With Mark Silvestri's soul patch. With McFarlane using the word bud two times in one sentence. <laughs> with Eric Stevenson being very Stevenson-like. <laughs> And Robert Kirk, Kirkman, Kirkman just ca- counting ca- money, counting ducats. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is funny. Can't Do sleep think, on Uncle Jim Valentino neither. Do you think anything got rejected? Did no. any of these? Did any of these partners be like, "You got to tone me down in this"? No, I completely doubt it. Because like those guys, they their calluses have to be uh, well well hardened it's at this point. If anything was nature. if anything was rejected, it, it might be maybe a, like a Rob Liefeld appearance or something, mm. man. But. Uh, I don't even see a space for him there, so that that might not have even been a uh, a concern whatsoever. But in terms of our general roasting, let's let's uh, let's up the ante by killing all the image uh, founders. Yeah, and her plan was to uh, to leave one alive, right? <laughs> but she got a little a little rambunctious there. She did. Ooh, this might have been the blood I was talking about earlier that I thought was really good. Oh, I like okay, the highlight yeah. in the blood, and there's a little bit of gradient in the blood. Right, Just yeah. something about it to me reads well. This might not be my number one panel for it, but I think this might be where I saw some blood I like. Yeah, once again, man, like the colorist really shows up in, in a good way, very complimentary way for Scotty Young's art style. Uh, I wonder if he applied some notes to uh, his works or whatever, but... Got to be the. I, it's got to be his regular colorist, right? From from I hate Fairyland. Oh, sure. Because it's so seamless. Yeah, totally. And that's not all, you know, like get some sketchbook back matter he is a heck of a drawer i know for a, at least a long time there man he was doing like these morning drawings of like whatever characters you want you know like he would be like call out a character and like the one that interests interested him the most you know you take 10 15 minutes fucking pop that thing out dude and yeah i think he still does that it's a, it's a fun social media follow for that reason yeah absolutely man and then of course do right you gotta have that's what you do your uh you know, you give away the razor, sell the blades. Even like doing the theme ad to right. show off like the big image sellers. Yeah. Smart. Great spread. Yeah, totally. This is this is what you want in a free comic book day book. If you're a creator that's approaching this, because you are just showcasing your skills, your characters, what you can do. Uh, in the case of like this being an image theme, like you're also doing plugs for all these image books. If you pick this up in 2017, I feel like you went home pretty happy with it. I think this was probably my highlight of uh, Free Comic Book Day that that particular year. Yeah, I would imagine everybody involved happy with the results of this. Yeah, good comic. Fun roasting. And by the way, there's another edition of this because a year later he sold it. There it is, man. Yeah, I think a more deluxe thing and... and uh... Yeah, I think I remember it having like, it being like a prestige format or something. So it must be some extra pages. Yeah, I wasn't sure which copy I had, and I have the same as you. You know, free comic book day issue. So I, I don't know exactly what the particulars are, but I know that it was released. You know, like through a regular diamond uh, solicitation. I think it was in high demand. You know, and I uh, snooze, you lose. You got to get your stuff on free comic book day, and then it, and then it goes away uh, theoretically. Uh, so super smart. Good to go. I am. Okay, favors like, follow, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the bell so that we can notify you when new videos are available cartoonist kayfabe comic book christmas in july is is a happening and it's going down the very last saturday in july make sure that you grab your comic book doubles uh make sure you grab your comp copies if you're a creator grab your free comic book day i hate image uh fcbd comics and let's stuff them into uh free little lending libraries all across our neighborhoods uh we've got enough people that were involved in it man that we are spreading a lot of comics for free around the country let's up that let's up the ante on that i want a million 
comic books to be distributed across the country uh, this cartoonist kayfabe comic book Christmas in July. The Patreon is an important place for you to come to if you're a regular viewer because you mitigate the kayfabe effect by getting our videos before anybody else. After we record these things, we go off and edit them, and uh, you could get our videos a week before anybody else sees it. Completely mitigates the kayfabe effect because you're getting the cheapest copies of the comics that we talk about, and sometimes it gets real expensive. Man, that, that Patreon pays for itself. The videos are brought to you by the books that we make. And Jimmy, I want you to let the people know what you got coming uh, coming out soon. True Crime Funnies is my latest comic book. I self-published this, and I am selling it myself on jimrug.com. Three complete short stories, nonfiction. One, a traditional true crime story about a drug cop. The other two, wrestling stories. And some crimes committed at least in one of those two. So <laughs> not too far off with that title. Um the uh, other books that are available, Plain Jane's, Hulk Grand Design, and Street Angel Deadliest Girl Alive are all in print and available. And the next Street Angel book, Princess of Poverty, will be coming out later this year from Image Comics. It will collect all of the Street Angel comics that are not in Street Angel Deadliest Girl Alive. So get both volumes. You will have a complete Street Angel set uh, in your collection. Super fun, man. Eddie P is Santa Claus this year, 2023, is going to see the Hip Hop Family Tree Omnibus coming to you in time for the holiday season. It's the 10-year anniversary of Hip Hop Family Tree. It's the 50th anniversary for hip hop culture. And we are presenting you a nice, giant, hardcover collection of those four volumes of Hip Hop Family Tree, plus an additional 140 page of additional content that is not in those first four volumes. We have to go to press, man. These are very big books, very laborious to put together. It takes a lot of time. So get your order in early to ensure that you're getting a copy because uh, you might have to settle for that second printing if you if you snooze and you lose. Not the only comic I'm putting out this holiday season. X-Men Grand Design Trilogy is coming to you in time for uh, the Christmas season. Got a couple volumes of that that are out of print. Don't worry collecting them all in this trade paperback that's coming to you, I think, in November when we're going to put this thing out, man. About 260, 270 pages of comic book content. And Red Room Crypto Killers is a new comic. Uh, there are two issues out right now. Each issue is completely self-contained. If you see an issue, scoop it up, give it a shot. Murder on the Dark Web for Fun and Profit is the name of the game in Red Room Comics. And issue three is going to be the first appearance. There's a backup feature in there. It's going to be the first appearance of the uh, characters that I'm going to be focusing on for the next number of years. So that's going to be a hot key. Make sure you order that comic if it's the only Red Room comic you ever get your hands on. But Jimmy, there are uh, other ways that the Kayfabers can support the Cartoonist Kayfabe channel. And I need you to let the people know. You can subscribe to the Cartoonist Kayfabe newsletter at the links below this video. You can also find Cartoonist Kayfabe t-shirts, merchandise, mugs, fanny packs, stickers, and more at our spread shop, including our latest design, which is the wrestling mask Cartoonist Kayfabe design. That link is also under this video. All good ways to support the Cartoonist Kayfabe channel, given those marching orders, and we'll be on our way. Read more comics.